Have you ever had such a glorious moment in the world that you have just decided that you must, you must share with everyone? So this text message that I have just gotten, I have decided to make slideshow shorts based off of student questions. Yes, I've decided to take student questions because this is so glorious. It needs to be shared with the world. <laughs> And you know what? I have a very quick answer. We're about to get into it. It's going to be less than a couple of minutes. I'm going to give you a couple of NCLEX questions that you're probably going to see if I'm 100% honest. And yeah, let's swim into the ocean of what in the H double hockey stick with a little bit of an ice cream pick is a peak and trough. No, it's not through. It's trough. <laughs> it's not a through. It's trough. So let's talk about it. Next slide. All right, real simple, guys. We don't have to take a lot of time for this. Here's how this works. We should definitely spend a lot of time explaining a 30-second concept. So it's commonly used with vancomycin. Vancomycin has a peak in trough. So I need to know, I'm going to draw my little tools, how much medication I am putting in my body. <clears throat> Here we go. How much medication am I putting at the body at its peak? Now remember, Vanco's nasty stuff. Vanco's super nasty stuff. It is incredibly, incredibly nasty. It is a vesicant. That means it will jack your stuff up. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get between a level of, okay, this is going to make me sick. I'm doing purple because hospice, this is how I want you to think of this because this stuff is yo toxic. Britney Spears, right up in here. Trying to tell you that the exits are here, here, and here. And you know what? In the event of a flotation device deployment, please make sure that you put oxygen on yourself first before you help any children. So here's what we got. We got a peak. So this is at which level is there a peak efficiency of this medication affecting my body? To where I don't go into the danger zone right up in this level, right chien. We call this a little right chien. All right, and then the trough, guys, listen, what do we used to do back in the day? We used to have horses. And what did horses drink out of, my friends? They drank out of a t -t 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 trough. Let's put a little water in this little situation, right chien. So we got some little trough. And your little horses are down here drinking off the cool, delectable delight of the glittery, gleamy water. Actually, this is stagnant and muddy. Let's just make it brown because that's the real deal. This stuff is nasty, gross. It's got spittoon stuff in there. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting stupid. I'm just trying to be funny, haha, -ha, because I'm trying to teach you that this is not difficult. So, what we do here is with our peak, we want to take this bad boy. Because I want to know at which level am I going to not be toxic. So I take this one hour after the infusion I'm currently getting. So I will give you a dose of Vank. And an hour into that dose, I'm calling your lab to come up and take that dose. So I can make sure at its peak, at that medication's peak of its effectiveness, am I putting you in a toxic danger zone? Now, trough. Boom. Trough, I give... That blood level, I take that blood 30 minutes before I give this dose. Because I want to know at its lowest level after I have slept and that medication is burned out and is metabolism have dropped it. This level right here. Is this enough to kill this little nasty mug right here, which is this little buddy right here, which is the bug? that is causing this issue. This is the bacteria. This isn't a virus, guys. Why isn't it a virus? Because if you need to answer that question, we need to talk a basic concept. Viruses, V-I-R, will not be killed by an antibiotic. You need an antiviral, V-I-R, V-I-R, viral. There you go. So therefore, if you give someone an antibiotic and they got a virus, you're kind of silly, which is important because on your NCLEX questions, they will talk about an antibiotic and give you a viral option or the inverse. They will have a patient with a viral issue of sorts and they will give you three and a different antibiotics and one 
antiviral. And all you have to do is look for VIR. All right. Well, I've covered a lot of things. It is less than five minutes. So I've given you a lot of NCLEX question options out of the test bank of 10,000. Those are the ones I commonly see. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a human computer. You guys know that the beauty of autism is we remember everything, even when we pretend we don't. So I love you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for this beautiful block of crazy, stupid student questions because the question wasn't crazy after all. And I think I might have asked it just like that myself. So until tomorrow or the next day or until we meet again, goodbye. I love you. Peace be with you and to your family and most importantly to your creator. See ya.